this is insanity. It's about twice the volume of uh, hey, dude, officers at the other. Shh. Can you? Shh. No, Hold no, on. I'm Hold on. Can you give myself. me? Can you give me six feet, please? I, I'm narrating well, right now. Okay. Well, that's what I'm going to ask you, sir. My name, my sir, name is Sergeant sir, with the Los Angeles. Sir, Department. I'm trying to narrate a story. Can you give me six feet? Seriously. I'm trying to narrate a story, and you're interrupting. Seriously. Okay, go ahead. My God. So. Dude, what's what's going on, man? I don't know. You tell me. Okay, what what is so desperately um, needs to be communicated to me? Go ahead, you're on. You got sixty. Now you already did three times, so let's go. What do? What? How can I help you? What did you just say? How can I help you? You don't know who I am. I'm the closest thing to God, and you pissed at me. The 415, the, four, the 415 man that just walked through here and was threatening violence against police officers, yeah. you let him walk. I've been arrested three different times on far less charges. What, was there? An, you're, you're the you're the point man here. Is there a reason? There's is there an executive decision that you made to not arrest that man who was threatening police? Was he doing anything besides talking? Was he doing anything besides talking? I'm asking you a simple yes or no question. Was that an official okay. directive or was that a request? You have a good night, sir. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Our tax dollars, these are the children that we employ. Is Kayla, for the most part. I'm sorry? Okay. Okay, do you understand the basics of HIPAA laws? Do you understand? Oh, I know the HIPAA laws inside and out. Is she drawing blood? She is drawing blood from him. All right, this is going to be this is going to be amazing because this we are at Sunset and Fairfax. If you're familiar with the city of Los Angeles, um, just past Fairfax is uh, Crescent Heights, and then probably uh, fifty meters past Crescent Heights starts the city of West Hollywood and starts, uh, well, actually, I think the Sunset Strip probably starts right here at Fairfax because there's comedy clubs here on the right and uh, and so forth, so. Um, oh my God, here comes somebody like speeding past. <laughs> my God, here comes it. a Camaro doing like 80 miles an hour down. He drove right past drove right past this checkpoint. You know somebody. So hit the like button everybody, it'll bring more people in. Press nine. If you're looking for a subscriber, say hi if you're new. Um, there's a video over on uh, the live channel, which uh, go and subscribe over there. The mods are gonna post a link to the, uh, the Johnny 5-0. There goes Denise's van. Um, it's only got 487,000 miles on it. And I'd be happy with it. Um, and you stick to the seats. But, um, so the mods, are, if, you, if the mods could post a link to the Johnny 5 officer directives on the live channel and go and leave a comment over there saying that you're looking for subscribers. So, also subscribe over there if you haven't subscribed over here already, uh, they are gonna have massive amounts of people through here. Good. And I'm sure many of them impaired. All right, here we go. So they have closed down an entire street next to the Bank of America here. Uh, one street uh, east of Fairfax is completely closed. So I wonder if these guys take bribes as much as the guys in the valley do. A lot of motorcycles uh, up on the sidewalk. Nothing says uh, 
nothing says we're law abiding like parking a mo motorcycle on a sidewalk. This is insanity. It's about twice the volume of uh, hey, no, officers at the other. Shh. Can you? Shh. No, Hold well, on. I'm Hold on. Can you give myself. me? Can you give me six feet, please? I I'm narrating well, right now. Okay. Well, that's what I'm going to ask you, sir. My name, my sir, name is Sergeant sir, with the Los Angeles. Sir, Police I'm trying to narrate a story. Can you give me six feet? Seriously. I'm trying to narrate a story, and you're interrupting. Seriously. Okay, go ahead. My God. So, dude, what's what's going on, man? Tell me. Okay, what what is so desperately um, needs to be communicated to me? Go ahead, you're on. You got sixty. Now you already did three times, so let's go. What do? What? How can I help you? Did I didn't ask for help? Okay. You approached me, right? No, exactly, because you're okay. standing right in the middle of our DUI checkpoint. And okay. I'm the supervisor here, so I was curious. Am I not allowed to be here? I help you? Am I not allowed to be here? Well, we prefer that you just stand off to the side so you can, you don't interfere with the investigation. People are allowed to walk through on the sidewalk. Um, is the sidewalk usually, open to the public? The sidewalk is open to the public for people to pass through, yes. Except for me. No, you're welcome to pass through everybody. I can't stand here and film a story? Like I said, if you're going to stay and film, we just prefer you move off to the side and we'll help you however we can. Uh, have, I inter have I bothered anybody thus far? Yeah. Sir, I it's been not here. about bothering anyone. Okay. You asked if you could film, and I said yes. You asked if the sidewalk was open, I said yes. You asked if you could film, and I said yes. We prefer the people film from the side, so they don't interfere with the officers doing their work. That's ha it. Have I interfered yet? That's it. That's all I'm asking you. Okay. Okay. C can I walk over there? I can't, yeah, sure. I can't walk past through here, or yeah, or... you can. I, I said you can. Yes. O okay. So why? I mean. Well, there's a difference between walking and stopping and setting up in the middle of where the officers are working and walking Off through. on the grass? What's that? So can I go inside the Bank of America parking lot here or, I mean, where? I don't know. I don't own the Bank of America. It's not my parking lot. Okay. So I can't speak for the Bank of America. Oh my God. Okay. Well, you know, like I said, film away. I just ask that you move just, to the side so that the officers can do their work. That's it. That's all I'm was, asking. Was I impeding officers from doing their work? That's all I'm asking. Okay. Well, that's a yes or no question. Was I impeding the officers? When you're standing behind the table, yes, you're making some of our volunteers nervous. Okay. What, what penal, we, we what have no idea who you are. What penal code is that of making somebody nervous? There isn't a penal code. Okay. That's what why I came up and asked, how can I help you? Okay. What's your What's your name and serial number, please? Sergeant Tomeo, right here. Okay. I can. T O M E O. Okay. Great. Three three zero eight seven. 33087? Yes. And you guys are out of where? West? West traffic. Please. West traffic? Yes. Okay. Thanks. Yes. So, is there anything I can help you with? Hey! Shut the fuck up! Okay. Once again, I didn't ask for any help. Okay. I'm merely here to film, exercise a constitutionally protected activity. And what did, I, what did I tell you? Did I say you that, could film? That, that, well, but, but, but by your, I gotta be, I gotta follow no, wait your a minute. rules. As in your words, that's a yes or no question. You, you gotta follow. You, but I gotta follow your rules. So okay, that's if I can yes film, no I can. I'll set up my tripod right here if I can film. Okay. But you said that's not okay. You prefer that I move to the left, which I said that I, you just move to the side, so you, you don't impede the officers doing their work. That's it. Okay. That's all I ask for you. Okay. Are we done here? Is that fair? Are we done here? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna walk. Okay. Please don't shoot me. Okay. I'm gonna walk. Oh, shoot you. Don't shoot me. Well, you guys get a little itchy trigger finger, so I don't want to. I don't want to interfere. Holy Jesus Christ! And it begins. And it begins.
And it begins. QT, thank you very much. And it begins. LAPD out of control as always. Out of control. Hey, is it okay if I stand here? Officer, is it okay if I stand here and film? Are you okay with that? Yes? You're okay with that? I'm not a threat to you? I'm a man with a camera. Okay, I don't want you to get nervous and shoot me. Look at all this. Look at all our tax buddy. Yeah, don't worry, he doesn't have a good side. Don't even bother saying get my good side. He doesn't have one. Holy Christ. Well, that was interesting. All right, so you guys saw, uh, police have to give a directive. It is Tourette's. They cannot let people walk here normally. They have to give you instructions. They have to. They must. It is part of their training. It is us versus them. They learned that on the first day at the academy. It is us versus them. And that's a pretty bad way to start off your first day at the academy. There we go. I have a question. You can hear me? Yeah, go for it. Look, Denise Lynn is over on the graph. They haven't tackled her yet, but she's skinny. They'd break ribs if they tackled her. Everybody saying in the chat too that Sergeant Mateo arrests in Zebra for being at the DUI checkpoint before. Oh, interesting. Thank you very much, Sarah Tay. Uh, Denise. Uh, Sergeant Mateo arrested Tom Zebra at a DUI checkpoint. Okay. I, don't, I didn't know that. The chat, the chat told me that that, that guy arrested uh, our friend. Kevin, can you take my camera, please? Can I look at how they let the corporate media stand in the street, but they won't even let, look at the corporate media standing in the street right now, and they won't even let independent journalists stand on the sidewalk. They're arresting Dan for being on the sidewalk. Hey, sir, I'm gonna need you to stand up over okay, there. Okay, they just told me that I could stand here though. Okay, see that's what we need to stand over there where those chairs are, that's why we have people standing by. Okay, I'm a member of the press. I'm a duly authorized okay. agent of a California okay. news okay. service. Okay, I need you to stand over there, okay? I'm doing my job though. Okay. Let me see your press gun. Right here. And I notice oh, you're yeah. you're letting them stand in the street. I'm on an open sidewalk. I'm dealing with two different things right now. Okay. okay. So I can I could be dealing with them right now, but I'm see, dealing with you right now. Okay, but I'm not I'm not breaking the law in any way. Okay. But no, but they still me over here. I need to find out what's going on. Oh. That if you don't leave, you'll be arrested. Did you tell Channel Seven to leave? Sir, I didn't deal with Channel Seven at all. Actually. May I, may I take a moment look at your press pass, please? Yes. Onus News Service? Onus News Service. I'm a duly authorized agent of a California news service. Onus News okay. Service. Okay, but you're not, here goes the thing. You're not, you're not issued credentials from the city of Los Angeles, are you? That doesn't matter, though. Yes, it does matter. What does it matter for, though? It matters with our department. That's what it matters. It doesn't matter with the law, though. So, okay. Okay. So the police, the police can't help it. He walks up to me and says, can I help you? the most ridiculous statement ever said by police ever. They always walk up to you and say, can I help you? Here it comes, hold on a minute. So uh, real quick, would you prefer that we not stand here or is it, are you giving no, us no, no, a directive? No. Did you hear what I said to her? No, I didn't. I said, thank you for coming over here. I'm giving my officer's room the work and if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer, that's all. But my standing over there was that was that well, a, it, was that a middle, was that a was that an official police directive or was that a request? It's in the middle of their work. Okay. Okay. I'm, like, I'm asking. Like said, is, was I'm it trying, a police? I'm trying to be nice. I came and said thank you. I don't know how that creates a controversy. <laughs> I'm asking you a simple yes or no question. Was that an official okay. directive, or was that a request? You have a good night, sir. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, our tax dollars. These are the children that we employ. In life, there is one type of guy that you really don't want to be. And this is something called a man child. But how do you know if this is the type of guy that you are? Most of the guys who are like this have absolutely no idea that the things that they choose to do every day cause others to perceive them in a very undesirable way. What's your name on YouTube? Johnny 5 -0. Oh, I watched you. I'm Scully D-Bob. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. Yeah, I was working and I saw this up earlier. Cool. These are the children that we employ, LAPDs, our tax dollars at work. 
What a child. He can't even answer a yes or no question. He can't ask, he cannot answer a yes or no question. This is the supervisor on this scene of 40 officers or 30 officers. This is the best that they can do is not answer questions. Simple, simple questions from the public and they can't handle it. Their head explodes, it's division by zero, they don't know what, you know. He wants to give me the directive uh, 10 seconds into our being there. You can send him an email and let him know what you thought about his DUI checkpoint and how childish he acted. Here comes an, I don't know if this is a, a Bentley or a Rolls, Genesis. Rolls Royce. Uh, QT, thank you very much for the super chat. I want a Winters and Tomeo sandwich, a little bit of Cool Whip. Is that Cool Whip? Ooh, let me have some of that Cool Whip. What'd you say? You can't have a pie without Cool Whip. Cool Whip? Cool Whip, yeah. You mean Cool Whip? Yeah, Cool Whip. What's up, man? <laughs> All right, man. This is the greatest thing. This is the greatest thing ever. What's up, dude? I'm live. live today. Oh, cool. Awesome, man. What's your channel? Uh, Jacob's on TV. Jacob's on TV. Cool. Cool. You want to give a shout out? We got 876 people watching here. You? Yeah. Live? Yeah, yeah. Give a shout out, man. What's up, guys? I'm a stringer from LA. Uh, my name is uh, Jacob Long. TV is my channel's name, actually. And my name is Jacob. Okay, say it slower. Jake. Oh yeah, I talk fast. Yeah, no. Uh, I'm Jacob from Jacob's Zone TV, which is my channel on YouTube. Jacob's own TV? Zone, like a, Zone, Zone, Zone Jacob's yeah. Zone, okay. And I'm in uh, I'm a streamer for LA, LA. Cool, LA. awesome man, cool. Yeah, uh, I'm Johnny Five O. Oh, I heard about Johnny Five O. Yeah, yeah, Five yeah. You? Yeah, it's me. I heard yeah. about you. There you go. There you go. Uh, that cop just saluted, by the way. I, I don't know if I outrank him, but uh. I had their body cams off. Oh, yeah, they always have their body cameras off. No, they're off. They had it, they had it, and I wasn't on. Yeah, no, they always, I mean, yeah, that's... It's always a like, he has it off, too. Yeah, of course they do. Yeah. yeah. I don't make sense then. No, I know. Why wear it? Are you on YouTube, too? Or are you on Facebook? Yeah, only well, the B-Ball. Okay, hold on. Come, come give a shout-out, man. Hey, I finally get to meet Johnny Five-O. Henry Hang, thank you. I'm Scully V Blog, S K U L L Y V Blog. Okay. YouTube channel. Awesome. Make sure you. I'm always out here. You know, I saw them setting this up earlier tonight because I was doing food delivery. And when I got off, I said, now I got to go film. Cool. Awesome, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Everybody should be out filming the police, yeah. man. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for your service, man. Oh, yeah. I still have an open gate to get one of the Yeah. Yeah, I got I got three misdemeanors still against me in the city of Santa Barbara for filming in a library. Yeah, I saw those. Yeah, yeah. So they got me for jaywalking four months ago, crossing all the boulevards when there was no cars. Okay. Cops jumped out, grabbed me. How much is the fine for jaywalking in Holly in L.A.? I don't know yet. Okay. I Mine. I, I got one in Pasadena. Retaliatory is one hundred ninety-seven dollars. I paid it in pennies. Nowhere on the ticket itself that I was issued does it say coins need to be rolled. They're going to take this money, don't worry. Yeah, uh, I've seen your doctor. <laughs> I got a lot of hate on that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, well, what people don't realize is everybody that was in that video is complicit. They're all part of the same extortion yeah. machine. They're like, you, you, were wrong, you, were, you were angry at the wrong people. You were mean to the wrong people. I'm like, right. they were all part of the same system to steal your money, dude. We're going to go set up over there. Change it up a little bit. Alrighty. And this is the famous Denise Lynn from Chicago. She's out uh, living out here now. So, oh, yep. yeah, she's very famous. Oh, yeah, famous on the internet. That and 50 cents will get you a phone call. Uh, Angelica Vega. Hola, Juanito. Hi, back. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I don't want to make anybody nervous. Don't shoot. Let Hands up. Hands up, don't shoot. Hands up, don't shoot. Hi. Hands up, don't shoot. Hands up, don't shoot. I don't want to make anybody nervous. Hands up, don't shoot. It's just a camera. Don't shoot. Oh, 
Okay. My God. Well, we did get shot that time. Listen, I don't know how many uh, I don't know how many monsters or Red Bulls in these guys are, so I don't want to. I don't want to. If somebody's got a hair trigger, you know, I don't want to find out. You know what I mean? Because let's face it, I mean, there'll be no there'll be no repercussions for uh, for these guys. Look at every everybody's hard at work, you guys. Everybody's hard at work holding up a clipboard. You know what warms my heart? That warms my heart. Seeing people film the police. For fun and for free. And let's face it, after George Floyd and all of the protests, cop watchers went from uh, several hundred to several million overnight. Oh my God. Amanda Erickson, Winters is busy tonight. He is sewing. Detective Winter. Detective Winter. That's right, Willa writes, pump your brakes. That man's a national treasure. So that's where the johnny50.com site comes in. Uh, yes, he was trespassed from the whole town, uh, Kayla, for the most part. I'm sorry? Okay, can you, can you come here for a sec? Can I, do, you, do, you know, do you know any, what's your name and serial number? You're a sergeant? I am. Okay. Which, I'm Sergeant Elias. I, I can't hear you over, I can't hear you over the engine. I, I didn't I didn't I didn't hear your name over over the engine Elias E-L-I-A-S e -I -I great what's the what's the serial number two seven one nine nine okay do you understand the basics of HIPAA laws oh I know the HIPAA laws inside and out are you a that's unfortunate. You should you should call you should call the city attorney and get clarification. Well, I. Uh, that's on. That's not. That's not. That's not the case. That is not the case, Elias. Thank. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. That's not how HIPAA works. That's not how HIPAA works. But but you know better. You've got. Okay, what penal what 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 penal code what penal code would that be? What what penal code would that be? Yeah. You've got a trailer to create privacy. Yeah. You've got a trailer to create privacy as per the legal team. Unbelievable. This is fascinating. This is this is golden. We need to come over to Hollywood more often. This is golden. This is absolutely golden. So feel free to ask Sergeant Elias what penal code that this is. Uh-oh, I can see the guy's social security number on that clipboard, and I just pulled this TRW. You see this cop right here with the bald head? That's the guy they have um, positioned on me ready to arrest me for anything he has his eyes on me the whole time look at him absolutely wolfie if you think that they haven't out of the 30 people that are here doing nothing if you don't think that amifi is not here to be the one to arrest me for doing anything you are delusional that's my shadow that is my that is my eyes on priceless channel but pow hundred dollars canadian that is, uh, if you guys don't know that, that is $42,000 US. Thank you very much, dude. I'm gonna retire. This is a tip for all the great mods in the chat. Make sure they receive this, please. Uh, all the mods have just been fired. <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> um, damn, 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 damn. Yeah, there's no privacy laws for being in the public. Exactly, Ghost Rider, I mean, and, um, the Katz v. U.S. 1967 Supreme Court case. 
is uh, one of many. I think there was also a number, uh, another Supreme Court case from like 1936 or so uh, about privacy. But yeah, they're all, all eyes are on me. Uh, this other bald guy over there with the yellow vest, they are looking for any reason whatsoever to arrest me. Is she drawing blood? She is drawing blood from him. She is drawing blood. Oh my God. It's a beautiful thing. More people just showed up. We've got four people on that side alone filming. We got four people filming over there. Actually five. The guy in the orange hat is number five. There's a guy in the orange hat talking to the supervisor. Things are spiraling out of control for uh, the West Traffic Division and their uh, authoritative control over this site. So this woman in the gray shirt appears to be a nurse or at least a phlebotomist. Um, so I would think that she would know the basics of HIPAA. Have you guys sent Sergeant Elias emails yet? Or the supervisor that's here on scene? Uh-oh. I hear yelling. So that guy just uh, threatened the LAPD with death, but they want to arrest me for, for a camera. Yep. Right. Joey's he's downtown. What did I tell you? I told you. You have f***ed up. You have pissed off the wrong nigger in the world. <laughs> a disease is coming worldwide to wipe the pumping of the face of the earth. Remember that? Have I told you that? Did I tell you the truth? But I've been threatened with arrest for asking for a name and serial number on a on a supervisor on a scene. 
but this is okay. You can threaten cops with death, which is what he was doing. I don't know if you guys could hear that at home. Yeah. He was threatening them with death and saying, I killed two of you and a, a, a bunch of other things. Yeah. But that's what, okay. Was there a sergeant that was getting mad at us all right, but uh, PC 415 has been waived on uh, this Friday night. Let's cut to a Sergeant Tomeo scene from my buddy Onus News Service. Okay, so this woman's friend was the was the driver of the vehicle that's getting FSTs done on her, and she was waiting for the FSTs to finish, and she was saying, "Don't arrest my friend." So what did the LAPD do? They told her to stop talking. When she wouldn't stop talking, they arrested her. Now, since this is a checkpoint run by and overseen by Sergeant Tomeo, this is just another example where he trains his officers to believe that they can arrest anyone for any reason at any time, regardless of whether they break the law or not. Yep. Uh, all of you guys that film for a living, you guys have all been arrested for, I've been arrested for a lot less than that. Anybody, any of you guys that pick up a camera have been arrested for less than this. But. Oh, wow, look. Uh, they, they told me that I was uh, uh, violating privacy. I asked them what law that was. They couldn't tell me. Oh, there goes Sergeant Elias. So you go Sergeant Elias, our resident expert on privacy. Huh? Yeah, she wanted to arrest me for privacy complaints. I asked her what law that was, she couldn't tell me. Yeah, what penal code is that? Yeah, she couldn't tell me. Magically. No, she actually believed it was HIPAA, huh? No, then she, once I said that it's not, it, it, she doesn't understand about anything about HIPAA, uh, she said, no, it's not HIPAA, it's privacy. I said, okay. Well, Cats v, Cats v. US will uh, negate that. I've heard a bunch of times that uh, filming this stuff is violation of HIPAA. It's absolutely no, no, it's total BS. It's total They're BS. No, 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 no. They say that all the time. No, I know. And the, the onus is on them to protect the patient information. No, you got a beautiful setup. What are you cool. doing? Uh, I'm Johnny 5 -0. What do you what, what do? You do? Checkpoint, Mr. Check, okay, yeah, people in my chat said that they know you. So everybody everybody, give a shout out to uh, Mr. Checkpoint. Johnny, five us, did you follow the cops? Or what's yeah, I got, a, I got a channel. We got 1,400 people watching right now. I'll have to, are from you on all Instagram over. and all that? Uh, no, just YouTube. Just YouTube? <laughs> They're all big who's fans. The bigger, who, who's the bigger hand in the department, Johnny, five or Mr. <laughs> Here we go. I'll take a vote. Uh, no, no, ask the, these guys. No, no, the guys in the uniform. Johnny Five O. Are we on the dartboard or what? <laughs> no, I'll be on. He's probably more popular. Sorry. Guys. All right. Hey, all good, man. <laughs> I, I, but, you know, I've I, heard of him. I, I'm, Who are you, Johnny? I, I live in the, I live in the valley, man. I, I mean, I don't really come over the over to the three two three all that often, so. Is that a body cam? Yeah, there's two Dude, body cams. <laughs> one of them will work like, in the dark. Is that the new one too? Is that like ours? <laughs> is that no, no, no. Oh, it's, it's, oh, no. If you just buy it on Amazon. Always check out Johnny's so, iPhone. No, it's different than Yeah, it's different. It's different, so. <laughs> no, we just updated ours. Okay. Cool. Good. Hopefully you can't delete the stuff on this thing. I we couldn't so delete too. it before. No, after a certain period, I mean, you guys, you guys use equipment, the batteries. You can only recharge them so many times before you start getting uh, degradation. Right. Right, right. Where are you headed? I'm just gonna move it over here. Are you where, where, where are you coming from? What's that? Where are you coming from? Coming from? Um, yeah, where are you coming from? I've been here all night. I was gonna talk okay, to you earlier. No, no, I just, I'm just, I'm just going through the, the, the police, the police, uh, the cop explaining that goes no, on, no, on, 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 on every, on every traffic stop. Where are you headed? Oh. Where are you coming from? Are you guys closing it down for the night? <laughs> no, no, but, uh, no. Have you had no, anything? we'll be here till about midnight. Okay. Have you had anything to drink today? <laughs> <laughs> today? This morning? Well, yeah, I had a Dr. Pepper. Last night, 1 a.m. is today. You realize that, right? <laughs> no, I didn't. I'll tell you what, I'm going to have some when I get home, though. You will? Yeah, I'm going to have work tomorrow. I'm going to have a glass of Cabernet. Can you work tomorrow? I do. We might have a problem. What's, what's the half life on, on, on alcohol? You process about one drink an hour. Okay. Well, when you say one glass, I mean you're talking like a Magnum bottle. I mean, what are we talking? What is oh, it? What, a define, glass of wine. what define glass? 
you down to play us. Okay. <laughs> It's tough, huh? Getting pulled over by you, it sucks. <laughs> oh, what? You don't think I've never been pulled over? Come on. Well, our well you got to get out of jail free card, so I mean, no, there's, there's. I don't. First off. Oh, and second oh off, come on. Yes, let me do a ride I along. Let me do a ride along with you, you and let's see. Well, hold on, you're gonna let me finish. <laughs> Go ahead. Me. And I haven't been a police officer my entire life. Now have I? I don't know. I don't know you. I met you about about uh, 90 minutes okay, ago. So I'm telling you, I haven't been a. You can't. I can't be a cop until 21. I don't, I don't believe And I didn't come on until I was 25, so there you go. I'm doubtful okay. that a lot of these officers in uniform have been arrested before. Well, no, he said stop. I didn't say arrested. Uh, See, there's yeah, that's... Difference. Yeah, the, ba the badge. Just because you get stopped doesn't mean you're getting arrested, just like the guy earlier. He got stopped and not arrested? No, we let him go. He, did, he, he, he appeared on the influence. He did the test. He performed well and they let him go. He would have been better off just exercising his right and saying, you know what, I'd rather go on with my day and travel freely. <laughs> and then he could have traveled freely and he wouldn't have wasted his time. Did you put him in cuffs? No. He did. No, he did. I have one question. Should qualify immunity well, be well, I'm gonna start charging for all these questions now. We already <laughs> yeah, yeah, like on the you're my yeah. employee. Yeah. You're, you're, <laughs> you're my employee, Mister. <laughs> no, I'm an employee of the city of Los Angeles. No, Come on now. I pay you. <laughs> my taxes pay you. My, my check says city of Los Angeles. It has nothing right, to do. I don't even know your check. name. No, no, no. It's just, <laughs> Who's you're, the city of Los Angeles? You gotta follow you the are. money. You gotta follow well, the money. I'm city of Los Angeles. <laughs> That's that. I totally agree with and you. And the money that. comes you gotta from the, it's, the money. Yeah, it's we the people. Remember that part, the we the people. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah. I'll tell you right now the the, the thing. That, I understand taxes. You know, I understand the concept, and we have to have them. The thing that blows me out of the water and just gets me upset is if they say, "Hey, this is what the tax is for, right? We're going to build a road. Use it for the road." <laughs> Don't take it and do something else with it. I, you know, I voted for it. I said, okay, yeah. Enough people say, yeah, you're gonna do whatever with that tax, but do it. Your eyes look a little glazed. How many donuts have you had tonight? Uh, none. I had a okay. Dr. Pepper. Okay, all right. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we have some, can we have some candy over there. I might, I I might have question. the uh, snack size Snickers if that's No, okay. but really, are you able to stand up without leaning? Or <laughs> is that helping you? Uh, How many surgeries have you had? <laughs> And how old are you? <laughs> These are good questions before you ask people to do things like this. You know what I mean? Oh, we do ask them. We ask them if they have any physical impairments. Really? Always? Yeah. Before you put them on the ground and start beating them? <laughs> so, have well, you seen us put one person on the ground and beat them? Okay, so wait, wait, wait. I have a question though. It's not always a No, well, you qualify you your question limit. I'm only talking to him No, now. no, no. Qualified immunity. <laughs> Should What's that? Qualified immunity. Should it be abolished? There are people that are asking. What about qualified immunity? Should it be abolished? Should it not exist? Should it be abolished? Should no, it I not don't exist. Think... Why? What's the what's the argument for it? Mm, the question. argument for it is things happen and what if there isn't some type of protection, like the chief just asked for more protection or you know to I'll give a better example. If you look at the history of, of LAPD. We have a lot of a lot of chiefs of police, right? And the reason that was early on was because they were directly beholden to the mayor. And I'm talking historically in the city. All right. So every time there was a new mayor, and you guys can look this up. We pretty much had a new a new chief of police. So until that until that was separated, okay, everything was run through city hall. And back in the day, there was a lot of corruption in city hall, right? We, we can all agree to that, yeah. So until that was separated, okay, there, there, there was no, there was, we had one, one chief of police, uh, August Bowman. Okay, they brought him in to, to clean up the department, and he was here for like six months. He was a, I want to say he was a military colonel, and he, he goes until you, he, he gave up. He goes until you separated, nothing, nothing's good gonna happen. You know what I mean? So, a certain, a certain amount of that has to be there. There has to be a certain level of protection and due process, just like everybody else enjoys. When you get arrested, you go to court. You're entitled to your due process. It's it's the same way. It's the same yeah, thing. but we don't so, get a pass and go, things happen. That does, that? We don't get to say, well, stuff happens. And we should have this immunity. Who are you voting for? I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> Can't uh, get into that. Okay, I have, a, I have a question for you. I, I, I'm not going to get into politics. The, I'll talk history. The, 
I am not going to fall. The 415. I'm not going to get into politics while I'm in uniform. I can't. The 415 on, man. Fired. <laughs> the 415. Oh, the, four, the 415 man that just walked through here and was it threatening violence against police officers. Yeah. You let him walk. I've been arrested three different times on far less charges. What was there? You're, you're the you're the point man here. Is there a reason? There's is there an executive decision that you made to not arrest that man who was threatening police? Was he doing anything besides talking? Was he doing anything besides talking? That's all I've ever been arrested for. Well, I don't know the circumstances of your case. I'm okay, I never threatened. I never threatened to kill police. I'm I'm, I'm listening to your side right here. Okay. So I'm getting I'm getting your side of it. I mean, he can he can talk all he wants while he's walking down the street. All right. He made no aggressive moves. He did nothing like that. You saw me watching him, other officers were watching him, and you just need to vent and move on. Okay. So I'll that's just... what we let him do. Now, are you... Why you were arrested? I don't know, I wasn't there. Okay. Um, are you guys, does, do you guys feel bad that the Sheriff's Department is way ahead of you with uh, documented gangs within the department? <laughs> I mean, I don't think, I mean, you guys did have active uh, uh, Bloods and Crips working down in, uh, uh, where was that rampart uh, back in the 90s? So, but other than that, I, I mean, that not, that, like you, a, not that, that you guys haven't like had your your scandals. We're a background investigator. Okay, would you mind if I take a look at your calf real quick? Would you? I mean, I want to make sure you don't have any ink. <laughs> what is that? You are wearing blue. Yeah. Well, no, only, that's that's. I'll tell you right now, the, the, the only, executioner's the only ink gang. I have associates me to the United States Marine Corps. Okay, thanks for your service. That's it. Okay. See, that's why you're a respect. Um, well, I'm not gonna say, <laughs> but yeah, that's what you're talking to us because you Why? served in the military. You understand a little bit of honor, and a little. I don't bit understand of, a lot of honor. Well, more than yes, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give you that. More than most of these people. Uh, you don't know any of them. You can't. You can't say that. Mm, there's have a bunch of them. And most of them. You can't, you can't, say, you can't say that. So look, you, look, you, it, it says 40 percent are domestic abusers. That, that is judging someone just the way. You, you don't want us judging someone. It's the same exact thing. You can't do that. Well, let's say let's say statistically, forty percent are domestic abusers. So you can hire. What do you say to that? You know, the only reason I, I, you I, I say that sounds high, and I don't know what, what you're quoting from. Well, it's a statistic that um, is um, it's very. I, I, you you ask me what I think of that. I I said that thinks I think that sounds high, and I don't know where you're quoting from. Well, I'll find it and I can send it to you. I would. But I would, <laughs> but that's where I'm getting the idea that most cops have a certain attitude. Towards... Yeah, but again, that stereotype in a group of people, which I, I think is never. I, it's, not, it's not a people; it's job. We're stereotyping well, a job. I'm, you're stereotyping a group of people. Have a job uh, also, I'm, a group of people I'm fairly you. certain that you arrested my friend Tom Zebra at a DUI checkpoint. Do you recall that incident? Uh, Tom Zebra. He's he films police. Tom Zebra, come He's down on. No, I'm trying. I'm trying He's to think OG. if it was Tom or his friend. <laughs> Who's that, Catman? Yeah, Ricky. I think it was Tom or Ricky. You're allowed to. You're allowed to walk through. You weren't walking. You stopped. You cannot walk through there and stop. You got a homeless guy right here, camped out, chilling, whatever. So, yeah, if you got a camera, you can't pass through. All you're doing is just reporting us to harass us and create problems for us and putting our safety in jeopardy. No, Catman. Okay. So do you do you recall? Was, I mean, I, I think it was for, Tom. that was, and so what, what was he? He was filming and maybe he got a little mouthy. No, no. Or what? Was, do you remember? Do you recall the circumstances on that? Or he was interfering. Okay. Do you know of any profession in the world? I, I, I'll tell you what, when I when I had an opportunity I to sit anymore. and talk with Tom, to there is a huge difference between Tom's, uh, Tom's not a big guy. Do you know of any profession in the world that you can make more mistakes, do more like harm, a quiz show. do more harm <laughs> and still have a job, get paid leave, things like that? Do you know any job? that you can cost your employer you tell me. hundreds of thousands right, of dollars, millions it, yeah. of dollars, multiple times, still have a job, multiple complaints, public complaints, still have a job. I don't know of one. I'm just wondering Mom, if you know you of don't one. Know. Did we just become best friends? Yup. Do you want to go do karate in the garage? Yup. Okay, well then there you go. Surgeons can't have malpractice or else they get their license taken off. 
also oh, lawyers this one, this can't have this no the question that to get their bar removed. Hold on. Uh, you guys are, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to give you, give you the best I can here. Should the settlement... Should the settlements, when they do something wrong, the city funds and not come to them personally? What's that? So should settlements come from city funds? And not from the police officers personally, because yeah, if doctors taxpayers pay your settlements. Exactly. Yeah. So look, should it come there's, out of your salary? Should it they, come out of your pension? They they pay for for all of you, like politicians and if any city employee. If it's in the course and scope of their employment, all of them. So I don't know. You tell me. So, but qualified immunity allows you to break the law and not be prosecuted. So there's a difference between due process and... I don't think... I, I don't agree with that. Like, <laughs> it's... I don't even know how to explain it. It's just insane. Absolutely, completely and utterly insane. Um, okay, well, that, that's what it actually is so i mean if the, the, that's the definition of qualified yeah. immunity yeah. you can do anything and you're immune and unless there is an exact uh case it's where the exact the, circumstances, circumstances were replicated oh, right. so each, one, beyond, each, one, beyond each the law. one each one is judged individually but beyond the law yeah uh well yeah in our in our course and scope of our employment we're allowed to do certain certain things that that, that yes uh, also, uh, Sergeant Elias said that I was violating privacy by filming toward, pointing towards the uh, trailer. As the, as the supervising officer here, would you agree with that statement? I would say depending on what's inside, yes, okay. that could be, because there are, there are certain medical questions that we do ask people. Okay. So. For fuck's sake! So you have a... If you're, hold on. If you're, if you're filming inside when they're asking those medical questions, I would ask that you don't. That's, okay, that's so it. right now they have the trailer closed. closed yes. To why did they do that? Uh, to create privacy. No, it's okay. typically part of part oh. of the, the DRE evaluation. Well, you should also check with so, the city attorney of why you guys have a, a, a trailer so, where you can. So, when they close up the doors, it's basically a, a mobile dark room so that they can do examinations. That's what it is. Okay, so do you understand HIPAA laws about who would be on the hook if I inadvertently? Uh, filmed some private medical information. Would I be responsible or would you uh, be responsible? I think it would depend on the situation. Is, is this real life? Okay, uh, that's the wrong answer. Uh -oh. Everything so, just depends on the, on no, the no, no, situation. No, no, that's not, no, that's not, it doesn't depend on the situation. I cannot be charged with a HIPAA violation. The people that are, uh, that are responsible for protecting the information are on the hook for the personal information. Okay. I cannot be charged, the general okay. public cannot never be charged with a HIPAA violation. Oh. No, never, ever, never. Don't say, ah, no, no, you're on. getting no, it wrong. Never, you're, you're... Never, is a, never is a big word. So you're uh, telling me that if you broke into a medical facility and stole medical records, you couldn't be charged with HIPAA violation? No. Really? Uh, no, I would be arrested no, wait, for, for, never, for, for break, breaking and entering. Well, you could well, be burglary. But. Well, no, they no because nobody well, violated. You said never ever. Nobody violated uh, HIPAA there necessarily because that well, yeah, was. Yeah, you took the records. Well, and they were they were properly secured. It, it, what yeah, a reason! But, but what a reasonable person violated. would consider properly secured. You said never ever, didn't you? No, and I no one's getting. He might still be right. Yeah, I'm no, still. No, I am no, still no, right. Still like, I've been doing this a little bit longer you, than you. If you take reasonable steps to protect the information, yes, you cannot be held liable. Saying, what those are, the doctor would be violating him, but yeah, you might want to you might want to call a supervisor and get clarification because you're you're wrong on the HIPAA thing. But I've been told I'm violating HIPAA by filming them too, and I laugh. No, well, Elias told me that I and I asked her, uh, "Am I violating HIPAA?" She said, "Yes," and then I said, "You know nothing about HIPAA." And then she she backed down, she sidestepped, and said, "It's not HIPAA, but it is privacy." So you're familiar with Katz v. U.S. 1967 Supreme Court case about that there's no expectation of privacy in public, right? Yes. Right? Yeah. So, that, Elias' argument goes right down the shitter at that point. I can't quote the case, but yes, I am. Yeah, it's Katz v. U.S. So, uh, so Elias was wrong. She's underneath, you're, you're, you're the point person for tonight, correct? Thanks for speaking. 
Have mm -hmm. a good night. What's your name, man? I know he's Mr. Checkpoint. Well, Who are you? Be back. <laughs> oh. He's coming back. I know, but what's your name? I don't know. What? Mr. Checkpoint uh, assistant? Good, he's good citizen. Good citizen. Hi, Andy. <laughs> so what's the name and dad's <laughs> Tomeo? Right. 33087. All right, thank you. Sir. No problem. So no, so Elias, she's so she's under you. So shouldn't I mean, shouldn't she Please. defer to you if she's unfamiliar with the, with HIPAA or privacy laws? And it sounds like you need a refresher. And I'm I'm being gentle when I say refresher. And when I say refresher, I mean a complete upheaval. Today's a training day, Officer Hoyt. But uh, uh, I'm gonna just be polite because you know it's Friday night. Um, but. Wouldn't wouldn't the, a normal human being thing to say to do is I'm not sure I'm going to ask my superior officer who's here with me. Yeah, that's one option. But I mean, cops never. I mean, they never do that because it may, would it make all, them look inferior. The I, I've never witnessed it yet in three years of filming police. Yeah. They uh, may it, not have done. It may not have done it right, if, right in front of you. If you, you could direct me to some cop that would ask for clarification, I'd be. I would love to film it. Okay. So. We do it all the time. Okay. I've never seen so much <laughs> discretion being used, though, um, so wrongly. Discretion being used yeah, wrongly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, don't... You, you pick and choose who you're going to stop, right? No, we don't. Not really. So how are you choosing? You I'll explain. Well, that's why I asked earlier if you had any questions. I'll yeah, absolutely. You. So what happens is, let me come over here so you guys can get a video. Okay. I, so, I want to get you with the well, light. But I want to be with the light at my back. Is that all right? Yeah, how do you want to do it? Yeah, it's just, no, no, it's just better for so, me lighting wise. So, well, I mean, I'm going to point it out to you so That's you can take a look. So, it gets it reduced down to one lane, right? Okay. And as they come up to the, the person here at the point, if there's room to be screened, we bring the cars out. How long that screening is going to take, we're not sure. So, you're not using discretion to know no, no. which cars at all? No, no, listen, like right now, look, see how they're, see how they're stopped? I do. And what's he doing with the cars that are passing, that are coming up? Well, that's I'm asking how you choose which one, which one of those to You have to, it's timing, you have to wait for, okay. for, for that to open up. Now, how long that's going to take, we don't know because as the officers are talking, if, if one of the drivers is exhibiting symptoms of being DUI, we have to get him out of the car, we have to have uh, one of our drivers move the car, that takes more time than if, say, so we bring up three cars. The officers go up, how you doing? They do their little action. Takes 30 seconds, boom, they send them on their way. If there's someone exhibiting symptoms, you gotta get a driver, you gotta get out of the car. The lady earlier had to get out of the car. That takes time. How much, how long that takes is random. Okay, I have- So, I... well, hold on. So, like right now, we got, we got three cars coming in. Correct. Okay, so once this is full, watch what happens to all the other cars coming down. None of them will be brought in. Unless unless they do something like we had one night, lady almost ran the guy over because she was drunk and she got asked and she got pulled out. So if they're just coming up to the checkpoint while the, that is full, you come over here, look at the guy waving. He's gonna wave them through. How long it takes to screen those cars, we don't know. See it's look. Up to each, it's up to the officer that's taking the risk. Well, that, but that's what I'm but saying. They have that, no but, contact with this guy. Okay, point. but isn't that a form of discretion? Because it's, each officer is the one that's going to decide no, no, how but long they're, they're You but don't understand. They're separate. Now. They're completely separate. I get that. I get that. But and that creates a randomness. I understand. There goes Elias. There's a training moment so, there that you're missing. Elias so just passed by. Randomness is what makes this basically legal under each person. And you believe that this is, this is constitutional? State of California believes this, I know, I know and there are certain states. There are certain states that, that, that there are certain states that that don't believe it's constitutional, and they don't do checkpoints. So, do do I do I believe that it's an infringement on the on uh, you know on on foreign? No, no, no. Listen, if you believed it, you couldn't say it in your uniform. I know better. No, no. Listen, you want my opinion? I believe I believe it's an infringement. The, Cal the state of California believed it was, and that's why they set up. Ingersoll rules for us to follow. If we follow them, then the checkpoint will be legal. Who makes those rules? State of California came up. Ingersoll, tell her about Ingersoll. Ingers, it's, it's case they have to they have to publish the, the there's a certain set of criteria that needs to take place. They need to uh, 
like announce it on the radio. It needs to be a published public information there's, prior to the uh, uh, to this checkpoint there's uh, that there's steps. going to be a checkpoint. Um, steps, yeah. yeah. And if we follow those eight steps set up by the by the state, then they say it's okay for for this. Okay. So that's. Yes, I, I agree. I totally agree. It is infringing on the on uh, Fourth Amendment rights. I agree to that. Okay. There are a lot of things that do under certain circumstances, and they're made legal. And this is one. Of them. Do Do you guys ask? I, I I up in the valley. I don't know if you guys do this. You guys ask if they use any alcohol, but you also ask if people have had any drugs, including prescription drugs. Uh, sometimes do, yes. Yeah, because where prescription drugs can we. They usually say any drugs. Okay. Okay, because they can they can impair. So I take Benadryl to go to sleep. If I took a Benadryl and came through this checkpoint, I, I it, depending on how you know, I could easily appear to be impaired. So wh where where does there where do a, you get? A, hold on, there's a caveat for that. It's called a medical rule out. Okay. So the whole thing is, if you're impaired to the point where you can't drive safely, all right, we're not going to let you drive. All right. That that's just. Now, whether that is a is considered a medical rule out, like you're saying with the Benadryl, okay, that that's part of the investigation. But okay. where where do you guys become the judge of well, what, what? Well, I mean, if, if it's what if what if it's a, oh, what like I said, what if it's an over the counter, but not necessarily a prescription uh, or a benzo or something like Every, that, or or I mean, everybody's affected differently by by different medications. I right. Mean, so we're, so like, that, exactly just, that. Why just watch television and, and look at all the side effects that they that they read off? Does that so, happen to everybody? No, it doesn't. But, but all the more reason for you guys to give a, a wider berth on people that are on prescription medication. Well, it's a medical rule out. Yeah, if they're, if they're able to prove, then then yes, that that that's called a medical rule out. So, and you know as well as I do, everything affects people differently. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. You know, uh, you're allergic to peanut butter, you eat a peanut butter sandwich, uh, you're not doing so good. I love peanut butter, I can eat it all day. Yeah. So, it's all about the, par the impairment, okay, and driving safely. If we don't think that somebody's going to be able to drive safely, we'll have someone come get the car, we'll do whatever, but it's about driving safely. Have you ever pulled anybody out for anaphylactic shock? Anaphylactic shock. Uh, I'm no, kidding. But, I'm kidding. You mentioned the peanut thing. Uh, no, Denise? but we have we have had some uh, diabetic incidents. Yeah, we, uh, that's that's more that's probably more common is diabetes. Yeah. Dealing with dealing well, with blood sugar, especially. Well, I remember seeing a, a black guy in Virginia getting beaten and pepper sprayed for about ten minutes because he was in a diabetic. Uh, coma having a diabetic well, and, and so of coma, course they out. thought he was and he was being non-compliant which gives uh, you know police the license to start batoning people and pepper spraying at will I saw the video you can shake your head all that you want I mean, it's it's yeah. it's what actually happened. So uh, I didn't see the video, so I can't come. Okay. Same thing with but autistic. Yeah, the, same thing with autistic kids. Because, I mean, there's you, you they guys give off the, the smell of alcohol also, which is is, is difficult. Do you realize that ethyl alcohol, the active ingredient to get That's, somebody drunk, is odorless? No smell. I understand. Okay. No, I'm just. I understand. Okay. I'm just saying that diabetes can be difficult sometimes and appear as though it, it's it someone mimics, intoxicated. It Yes, exactly. Now, exactly. You had a question. I did. <laughs> I saw some people being oversized over to the table. It appeared to be that somebody was taking the blood. That would be pretty good. Yes, we have a lot of people. Oh, really? Yeah. And what is. How do you keep track of it? From what I saw, you were just putting it in a black plastic glove, and I don't think that's. that's well, no, then that, that's in, in, in case at least because the container it goes in is a paper container. So, to you know, for biohazard reasons, it goes in the glove and then it goes in the paper container, and that paper container is a, is a analyzed evidence. So the evidence is followed all the way through here. Well, yeah, the officer the officer I takes it takes okay. it with them and books it, but the actual thing is like a Manila envelope, and Manila isn't waterproof for this or that. So typically, 
all, what officers will do is they'll wrap it in the glove just for biohazard reasons. Um, when they're dealing with uh, drugs, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's part of the ERE evaluation. And that's medical uh, professional that's taking gloves? Or? No, it's someone who's um, uh, has a DR, what's called a DRE certification, a drug recognition expert. Yeah, 48 hours to get their Well, it's a, it's a lot longer than 48 hours. How, how long is it now? Um, you know what, I'm not sure. It's not a whole lot longer. I'm not a DRE, so I'm it's, not it's sure. It's not a whole lot longer than 48 hours. Okay. It really isn't. Well, <laughs> I'm just curious. I'd have to look it up on my DRE. That's why you don't see me doing the email. Oh yeah, people refuse all the time. Yeah. Yeah, people refuse all the time. So what happens if somebody walk, drives through and um, uh, refuses to answer any questions through the checkpoint? says they're going to exercise a Fifth Amendment right and they refuse to answer any questions? Uh, just depends. Just depends on, All right. on what the officers observe. So uh, Elias passed by twice, Sergeant Elias, and they were there. I think there's a training opportunity for her tonight. But if you don't, you know, I mean, you're using your discretion and not think that if there's a, not a training uh, that's fine with me. Uh, she'll continue uh, threatening people with, I, I just always assume arrest uh, for, for filming, saying that I was uh, uh, infringing on people's privacy. So, uh, and I guarantee you that that trailer was implemented by your legal team in the city of Los Angeles to create privacy. So okay. whether or not you want to accept that fact, you, have, you guys have the ability to create privacy. All right. So do you understand the randomness? Kind of see how that works? I do, but I still think there's discretion involved in it. Well, it's, it, <laughs> the, the term is called a, a neutral formula. Is what the term is called. So, hey, Sarge, are you doing uh, field assignments? Yeah. All right. I Thank actually have so to much. get back to work I now. All right, man. I think, All right, I, I, think I talked Thank to you guys you. good. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. yeah. All right. yeah. yeah. Thanks, dude. All right. I'm gonna swap out some batteries here. Sounds good. Well, well, I think it's time for me to go home back to home now. Uh, <laughs> that was. Oh yeah, uh, Sarge, you are mistaken, bacon. Though I just yep. he, he did not. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna bounce. So, uh, uh, check, Mr. Checkpoint guy is gone. He said he was coming back. Uh, I think he's a liar. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I can't believe I've never heard of this guy, Mr. Checkpoint. All right. Um, well, shit. That was like a that was like at least a 20, 20, 30 minute Q and A. Yeah. Um, he got a lot of the questions wrong, but no, that phlebotomist is not a volunteer. I don't think you can, oh my God, oh my God. We need to cross the street here. He's got a sign, he's got a sign. Oh my God, oh my God. No, she's a medical professional, no, the, the, phlo the phlebotomist? No, she's not, that's what I asked. Well, I watched her take blood and I asked, is she a medical professional? No, just part of our drug recognition Whatever, that's okay. all it was. I have it on here. Okay. Go back and show it. Oh, okay. I didn't, uh, I hold know on. That. Great job on signs, guys. Hey, I'm a bootlicker and I support the police, mother Take that fucking commie oh, side and get the f out of here. Boys and girls, <laughs> Have you ever gotten in trouble for doing this? Have you ever been arrested for this? No. <laughs> you had to think about that one? No. Have I been arrested? No, okay. No, what, this. What have We're you, holding a sign though. For recording the police. You, what, have, what did you get? What did you guys? I was holding a sign. Yeah, I did, I have. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking. Well, what did they charge you with? Not leaving an unlawful assembly. It was uh, at a protest? September 6th in front of the LA Sheriff's station. You were there, right? We're down in, in on Imperial? Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I was down there. I don't know which day. They got arrested that night. Okay. All right. And I but, was holding a sign that said, I am media. And I was holding like yeah, this. Yeah, I love it. And I went to jail that night. <laughs> what did you? So we got to get the sheriffs to give me my phone back. Okay. Okay. Um, cool. All right. So, uh, moderators, uh, you got a YouTube channel, yeah? You? Yeah, but I don't really go on it. Instagram. Oh, Instagram? Okay. Mr. Checkpoint. All right. So, moderators, if you can post uh, post his link on Instagram in the chat, we got You're we welcome. got fifth we got fifteen hundred people watching from all over the world. So, all uh, go go shoot go uh, go shoot uh, uh, Mr. Checkpoint some love over on IG. And um, yeah, so there you go. Awesome, awesome. All right, well, well uh, good to meet you guys, man. Tell me again. Tell me again your name. It's Activist Andy. Activist uh, Andy. On okay. Instagram, yeah. On Instagram. You uh, you want to give a sh you got a channel or anything? You want to yeah. give a shout out? Six W Records. Six number, W Records. Yeah, number six, letter W Records. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Instagram or are you on Instagram, YouTube? Instagram. YouTube everywhere. Okay. Cool. Yeah, cool. Six cool. W cool. Records. All right, man. All right. Thank you. Guys, see you later, man. <laughs> okay. Okay. How many milliseconds do you think they would arrest me for holding that sign? Oh, hell yeah. Point oh 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 four. <laughs> oh. I would be arrested in milliseconds for holding that sign. We're at Sunset in Fairfax. City of Los Angeles. We're right on the border of West Hollywood. This is the famous Sunset Boulevard. And in the distance, you can see the Laugh Factory, which starts all of the entertainment, which is the uh, Sunset Strip, which is where all of the uh, bars, restaurants, hotels. I'm gonna go back and explain to him the difference between due process and qualified immunity and also that he is one of the dumbest people. I, this is what qualified immunity covers, this exact thing. He doesn't know the law he's talking about. He'll arrest you and then stand in court and go, but I didn't know. I thought I knew, but I didn't know. That's the difference. Due process is a constitutional right. Qualified immunity literally means cops can break the law and then stand in front of a judge and go, but I didn't know. Yeah. And he tried to sell it hard, man. Oh no, he he was definitely mistaken. So bacon. many things I have to say about that guy. <laughs> so many things, so yeah. many things. Then my walkie went off and I, I, I was a 415 woman in the Prius. <laughs> I was screaming, hitting the steering wheel. <laughs> uh, I can't believe what took place tonight. I, I appreciate everybody being here. That, that was fascinating. From the start, being accosted from the start of you can't stand here i am are you asking me or are you giving me a directive i Sir? i lost so many brain cells that guy obviously didn't to go lose. to school he didn't go to school he he didn't understand i can't all right we need to plug in this phone okay but we'll, we'll keep this, this we'll keep this. the conversation going Plug it in, plug it in. YouTube, thanks so much for watching this video. Leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, drop a like. Appreciate everybody's support. You guys are amazing. Thanks for bringing me this far. I'm humbled by all of your support. Love all you guys. Except that one guy. <laughs>